Well, now the sun's come out for us, so we know that we are especially uh, favored today. My name is Juan Condi. I'm uh, an anchor at WRIC TV 8 here in Richmond. And on behalf of everybody at our television station, WRIC, it is a pleasure and an honor uh, to be with you all here this morning um, for a very august ceremony for a very, very good cause. Um, the support that we at the station have for Feed More is unending and, and never quite enough because Feed More does such good work in our community, helping to feed those less fortunate. Um, we worked with them uh, very recently on their annual gala, and uh, it's always just a good thing. I was thinking on the way over here how journalists are supposed to be dispassionate and fact finders, or at least you hope that we are, right? <laughs> um, but there are, there are a few situations and a few circumstances in which uh, you see facts and you learn things, and it's not enough to report them. It's not enough to convey them to folks. It's not enough to, to just let them be. Some facts have to be addressed and some things have to be done uh, sometimes. And working with Feedmore is one of those things. The, the problem of hunger in central Virginia and, uh, and our surrounding areas is, is serious. And uh, we are very, very happy to be part of this. And I'm sorry to be so somber, but uh, uh, it, it's good work that's going on. And it's important that we're all here today. We're also very impressed and happy to be working with Eagle, Con Eagle Construction, which for so many years has been such an integral part of so many parts of, of our community uh, across town. I also have a personal connection to Eagle. Um, yeah, no, m my friend Eric Jens has worked with Eagle for years and years and years. He and I knew each other. I know he and I knew each other uh, a long time before I imagined I'd be here um, emceeing the ceremony. And I'm sure, Eric, you know where we were and how nice it is that we're both here alive and <laughs> in one piece. Eric and I have promised to get together after this in the near future and reminisce some. Eagle Construction would also like to thank uh, the members of the Goochland County government who so graciously shared their time to be with us today. And we'd like to thank, of course, our Feed, uh, Feed More board members who've uh, come today, uh, and as well, all of the trade partners uh, that Eagle Construction is involved with, because really, the contributions that you guys are making um, really help make all of this work. So without further ado, I said this would be short. Please allow me to introduce the Chief Operating Officer of uh, Eagle Construction. He's got some words for us. Please welcome Mr. Jeff Cornblow. Thank you, Juan. Well, he mentioned that uh, we were going to do short speeches today. So I had two versions, a long version and a short version. So uh, I've got the shorter version side right here, um, but this is a this is a great day. This is a great event and a great partnership. Um, before I kind of go into my speech, I figured it'd be important because sometimes we lose sight to um, first thank the individuals that helped put this event together today. First, uh, Amy Wilcox and the marketing team. Thanks for everything you've done to put this event together. And also uh, Adam Copenhaver and Chris Simons, Matt Snyder, and Mark Rainey for everything you've done to make the site look uh, presentable and to uh, do everything you did the last couple of days just to make this look amazing. <laughs> Next, I want to thank the Eagle Company staff. I mean, it's amazing the turnout we have today. So I want to thank all of you for everything you've done, your participation, and being here today. I also want to thank Feedmore. Give, they're giving us the opportunity to help serve and nourish our community in a most impactful way. We're going to do that by building the Feedmore House. It's building a home to feed more. So you're probably wondering how we got here today. About two years ago, we decided to partner up with Feedmore as a charitable partner for the Eagle Classic, which is out here at the Richmond Country Club in Goochland County. It's one of the big reasons why Goochland County is the home of the first Feed More House. Through this partnership, we, we've been able to see firsthand the impact that this incredible organization has had on the community. We've been continuously moved by their effectiveness and want to continue our effort and support throughout the year by doing more, and that's to build the Feed More House. So with this desire, the Feed More House was born. We're going to start construction on this home in about two weeks, weather permitting. It looks like this is a good day to build. 
Um, so hopefully around August, September, the Feedmore House will be here. But during the time of construction, there are going to be a lot of activities and events that will take place. And we invite all of you to actually participate and be involved in every step of the way. The goal of the Feedmore House project is to not only donate funds, proceeds to this incredible organization, but to also increase, increase awareness and encourage others to get involved. So with this effort, we're going to donate the proceeds of this home along with the donations and contributions of our trade partners to Feedmore. So in a couple weeks, like I mentioned, the Feedmore House will be born. This is a unique home special for the Feedmore project. As we were trying to determine what we were going to call this plan, it originally was the Woodleaf. And I know a lot of you have heard the Woodleaf. You've heard the Waterford. And as it was created by our drafting department, they decided to call it the Jeff Leaf. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, the Jeff Leaf, that just doesn't sound right. So today, we're calling it the Feedmore. So from now on, when we're building the Feedmore house, this will be the Feedmore plan. So now I'm going to turn it over, since it, this is my shorter version, I'm going to turn it over to co-founder and current president of Eagle Construction, Bud Ole. Thank you, Jeff. I've only got one version. It's a short one. Um, but I was asked today to talk a little bit about why a house. That's pretty easy to answer, but what I, what I want to talk a little bit about is why feed more. As Jeff mentioned, about two years ago, we were, uh, we were, we were into uh, being involved with the Eagle Classic for, I believe, our third year. And uh, the charity that we'd been, been involved with previously had, had decided not to, to go forward in the manner that we wanted to. So I went through a really scientific process of choosing a new charity. Got a lot of suggestions. There's a lot of charities out there. But... I went through a process where I wanted to choose a group that had, <clears throat> had a strong organization and that had a wide reach. And I, and I came down to, to two organizations. And my very scientific method of choosing one of them was to send them both emails and the one that got back to me first. And I think uh, at the time, Faye Lohr was standing by her monitor. <laughs> and I think it was a matter of seconds before I heard back from her. But as we got to know the Feedmore organization better. It just kept making more and more sense. For one thing, it's a really cool name. <laughs> you can put just about any word before it or after it, and it means the same thing. Feed more. And it took me a while to really grasp it and, and, and also to appreciate the history of the organization and where it grew from. I know that one of the, the pillars of your organization was Meals on Wheels. Well, Meals on Wheels was founded in 1967. That's a long time ago, almost as long ago as I came to Richmond. I got to Richmond in 1966. And so I've, I've listened and watched the story and seen it unfold for a long, long time. But I can tell you that, that as we, again, as we got to know the Feedmore group better, I met Kathy Earhart. And she knows exactly where to stand to get donations. At our golf tournament her first year, she stood right between the open bar and the buffet. <clears throat> and she has this little gadget that she puts in her phone. And this gadget does a lot of things, but let me tell you what it really does. And the reason that we're building this house. When she swipes your card, you hear a little whoosh sound. And it, something happens to your wallet or your pocketbook. But at the exact same moment, your heart feels good. And that's why we're doing this. And that's why I wanted everybody to be here today. And a lot of our trade partners are here as I look out. Being involved in this project, as much as you can, will make your heart feel good. I'm going to get one of those gizmos from Kathy. And can you imagine me walking through the office? Because I'm going to ask people, what have you done at the Feedmore House today? And if you haven't done anything, you know, in the last week or so, I'm going to pull that gaz gizmo out because I need your heart to feel good. <laughs> and that's what it does. That's absolutely what it does. But I can tell you that I couldn't be happier with, with who we've chosen to do this with. And 
the reason we're building a house? I've forgotten how to do everything else. That's what we do best. And so we're going to match strengths. We're going to match what we do very well, what all of you all are professionals at. And we're going to make as many people's heart feel better as we possibly can. Another big moment with Feed More is when I had the opportunity to spend some time with Doug Pick. We got paired up in last year's Pro-Am, and I think we've both seen our better days on the golf course. <laughs> but we had a really, really good time. And, and I know that the leadership and, and all the staff members at Feed More are just absolutely top-notch, just like everybody I see in front of me today. And every one of you I know will, will be a part of this and make sure that this, this is an absolute success and one of many. Uh, we hope to have people wanting to have the Feed More House in their community, their county, their locality, because we're going to make a real name for it. You can see the silt fence. I'm assuming we've got house wrap coming. It's all going to be a big billboard. So let's make sure we make as many hearts feel good as we possibly can. One other thing that I wanted to mention that, that in our first staff meeting after we, after we teamed up with Feed More, uh, Kathy came in and told the story of a young man named Sam. And I think everybody who remembers that story, it touched their heart. And I, I, I honestly can't remember all the details, but I'll never forget Sam. And the word Sam means a lot to us these days. And so it's just appropriate that that's one of the components as to how this got started. So Kathy left her gizmo at home today, but I'm pretty sure she's going to have it next time she sees you. So get ready to make your heart feel good a lot of times. <laughs> So the question's easy. We're building a house to feed more. And it's only appropriate, Jeff, that you've now named it the Feed More House, and that'll live on for a long time. Uh, with that, I'd like to introduce my friend, Doug Pick. Doug, thank you so much. Thank you, Brian. Thank you very much. Thank you. And, I, I, and I do promise to bring a, a better golf game uh, this year, bud. <laughs> it was a little ugly out there. Um, what a, what a privilege and an honor to be here uh, with these fine, fine people. Uh, on behalf of Tom, our chair, and our board members, and Kathy, and our wonderful team and staff, uh, we cannot thank you enough uh, from the bottom of our hearts for the, for the generosity uh, and the spirit upon which uh, you're providing this to us and to the 207,000 folks who are not sure where the next meal is going to come from. I, uh, I was driving up today, and I was... I was struck by what a unique American experience this is this morning. Um, for so many decades, the pillar of the American dream has been owning a house. And this is it. I mean, this is what you stand for in so many ways. I, I, I've just come to admire the Eagle Company so much um, that, that we strive and we work and, and we believe that life is good when we believe we can say we own a house. And someone's going to come here and have that ability. And Eagle provides that to this community time and time again and does it with incredible flourish, with quality, with care. It, it's just amazing. And at the same time, what's so unique about America is we have so much and we know it. And we make sure that we try to give some of what we have to others. It, it really is quite something. And this community shines every day in that regard. The service orientation of the Richmond community, of the folks here in Goochland, and we're the benefactors of that. Feedmore, who has 20,000 donors, who has 250 volunteers a day, 9,000 volunteers in a year. We're absolutely blessed, and, and we never lose sight of how lucky we are to be in this community. So here we are, as you said, you know, two groups who do things really well. Uh, this confluence of events, this confluence of organizations on this very special day. And, and on behalf of those folks, on behalf of the mom, who is really glad her kids are able to eat this weekend, and that way maybe she can interview for that job a little better in a little, little lighter fashion on Monday, and for the dad who can go to work and not worry about whether his family's going to be fed, and to the families who have a senior who's at home and they're not here, and that senior gets a meal each and every day and a hug from the person who brings it to them. On behalf of all those, I want to thank Brian, Jeff, Bud, Josh, Amy, all of you who make this happen, it really is just an amazing group and, and, and a partnership which I've come to, to really relish and enjoy uh, and embrace. 
So I can't wait for the next couple of weeks, as we used to say in Roanoke, the Lord willing, the creek don't rise. We'll, uh, we'll get this thing going. And now that I know where it is, I can't wait just to drive by and to see how it's all doing. I think we're going to have a camera and do some other wonderful things. But uh, again, such an honor and a privilege to partner with Eagle Construction. And I thank everyone uh, who's part of that, my own team, and uh, we're very blessed. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bob. All right, Doug, don't sit down. You will uh, uh, take the first ceremonial shovel here. We'll get the hard hat on to be sure that all of the regulations are being followed. <laughs> I know you guys love the regulations. It looks good. All right, uh, if you would, please take the ceremonial first shovel. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Groundbreaking for the Feedmore House. Very nice. All right, now if we could have uh, uh, Bud Oley, president of Eagle Construction. Special hat on. I, these are the shiniest shovels I have ever seen. I'm not sure where these came from, but these are wonderful. Yeah, we know a lot more about you now. <laughs> that we know you know Eric. Oh yeah, that's probably not good. Uh, Very good. No. Brian Kornblatt, please, grab your shovel. Brian, of course, the chairman of the Eagle Companies. Ah. Uh-huh. Smart tie, smart bow, smart man. Kathy Earhart, director of development at Feedmore. Grab your shovel. What color will you choose? Yeah. Oh, purple to match her. Yes. Very nice. <laughs> That's okay. These are adjustable. You guys have thought of everything. All right, Kathy. Very nice. Mr. Thomas P. Roman, partner McGuire Woods, and the Feedmore board chair. Oh, oh. He's asking Jeff what, what color Jeff wants. That's gracious. I'm going to get one of these shovels just for work around the, around the yard in my, in my neighborhood. People are going to be super impressed. And last but not least, Jeff Kornbaugh, please grab your shovel. And we will. I was going to say, very, I was going to say you guys matched up perfectly. And if you would, together in tandem for the photographers in our entire community, please take a ceremonial shovel for the Feedmore House. It's hard to believe that with a single shovel, this project is now underway. But ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of all of us here, Eagle Construction, our friends at Feedmore, uh, on behalf of everybody at WRIC, partners, thank you so much for being here. Thank you guys for the good work you're doing. Um, and we look forward to joining you again or having you come by again. Can we come back when the house is finished? Oh, absolutely. Can I bring a camera? Yeah. A couple times. Oh, yeah, couple yeah, times. We want you out here a bunch of times. Now we're talking. And, uh, and our, th our thanks to Juan Condi, who's been oh, such a great dude, friend to feed more. Thank you guys. No, Thank it's you. a pleasure. Thank you all very much. Anything else? Y'all have a good day. Please enjoy the refreshments that we provided. We'll have a brief reception. Thank you.